career choice. After graduating next month, they've all chosen to enlist in the military. Dick Berry is here live with the details. Hi, Dick. Hi, Emily. Well, quite a patriotic ceremony in downtown Toledo's Valentine Theater. It was called Our Community Salutes and was sponsored by The Blade and the American Legion. March on the colors. Ready? Face. This community salute is held to let each graduate know how respected they are for enlisting in the armed forces. They are reminded to never forget the sincerity of the words, thank you. Less than 75% of all high school students will even qualify to make it into the military in the future. And uh, this is uh, another one of those great generations of young men and women protecting our, our great lands. Talk to some of the students. Their career choice is a very personal one. Following my father's footsteps. Because my granddad was, uh, he was in the Air Force and I just heard all these stories about him traveling and things like my, that. A lot of my family members have been in the military and I kind of feel like I want to carry that on. Others though are inspired to join for different reasons. I feel like it's the greatest thing to do. It's the best job that I personally see myself at. And if they want to learn what it's like to be a valiant soldier, Ronald Rosser has come with a message. He was an Army Airborne Paratrooper. Mr. Rosser received a Medal of Honor from President Harry Truman for his bravery during the Korean War. He says they're about to start on a great adventure, but to remember, there's no such thing as an individual in combat. You cannot put on a uniform and be a soldier. You have to be trained and you have to think like one. And you're not an individual, you're a part of a team. And a team that's chosen to protect American values. In downtown Toledo, I'm Dick Berry.